how to clone and install five fresh Windows virtual machines in five or six minutes. Let's go. The first thing that we're gonna need to do inside of this whole process is install a fresh, brand new master clone template. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be using Windows Server 2019 Data Center Edition. However, this will work with any Windows operating system that you choose. On top of that, you're gonna to wanna to load up your template with all of the applications and the programs that you're gonna to need to succeed, whether that's Notepad++, your favorite internet browser, or other applications like the Microsoft Office Suite, Cisco Jabber, you name it, put it on there, and it's going to be installed on all of your clone devices as well, saving you a bunch of time in the process. But once you've got your template all set up, it's time to shut it down and get it ready for the cloning process. Now, the next step is to head on over to your Hyper-V folder and locate where your virtual hard disks are actually saved. Once you've located the virtual hard disk for your master template, you're quite literally going to copy it and paste, paste, paste as many VMs as you want. Keep pasting that thing inside that folder. Make sure to give them a meaningful name after they've actually saved. Um, and then we're ready to spin these babies up. So now to actually create and spin up the VMs, we're gonna go just like we normally would inside of Hyper-V to the new VM box. And we're going to set it up like normal, give it a name, as much RAM as you need, put it on the network. And the, the most important prompt that we're gonna come to is the virtual hard disk selection. Instead of creating a new virtual hard disk and uploading an ISO file to load up Windows, we are going to be selecting an existing virtual hard disk and we're going to be pointing that directly towards one of those drives that we just copy pasta in the previous step. All you need to do after that is start that VM up just like you normally would um, and that'll bring us into the next step. So realistically, once you're actually booting this new clone drive up, you're going to be able to get into Windows. You're going to be using the same password that you used on your master template. However, we're not done yet. Now you do have a fully operational operating system in front of you. But if you try and connect that OS, if you, if you try and connect that VM to the network that you're on, you're gonna notice you're gonna get some errors. And that's because now your master template VM and this newly cloned uh, VM, they're technically the same exact device. They have the same computer name, the same security ID. So what we need to do is a very crucial step in this process called system prep. Stay tuned here and we'll show you how to do that with one simple command, it's very quick. So in order to generalize our newly installed virtual machine, we need to open up a command prompt on the virtual machine, on the cloned virtual machine. Open up a command prompt, we're gonna CD to Windows, System32, SysPrep, and then we're going to launch the SysPrep.exe command. That's gonna bring us up a nice clean little GUI with only a couple options. The only option we need to worry about is the checkbox with generalized next to it. Make sure that checkbox is selected, hit okay. Now the system's gonna to start to think for a second, reboot, and when you come back up, we're gonna be good to go. When the machine boots back up, it's gonna ask you for a brand new Windows key. It's gonna ask you for a new password. And after that, it's gonna load you right on in. Now, when you check your computer name, it's gonna be completely different from the master template. And now you're operating off of a brand new, unique system ID. So that really is all there is to it with this simple little process. Now you can go ahead, use SysPrep to spin up five or six, seven different clone VMs all at the same time and in less time than it takes you to install one version of the operating system. Now, I hope that you guys can use this method in your organization, in the classroom to save yourself some time because we know that time is money, time is invaluable. And hopefully if we can save you some time, that was the purpose of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, my name is Key Warrior Tony. I make videos just like this one about teaching you things in IT. I also like to relax a little bit, do some keyboard stuff. I love custom keyboards. If you guys are interested in anything like that, definitely hit that sub button. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in another video. Peace out.